Cape Sian is a city in mourning. Families who lost loved ones in Tuesday's explosion carried their coffins through the narrow alleys leading to the cemetery. Those who found free plots buried their relatives. Dozens of other victims were placed in mass graves. 74 people have already been buried. Some were taken to another cemetery. This is what's left of the gasoline tanker that exploded. It's believed the truck tried to avoid a motorcycle and tipped over. Residents approached the site to take fuel from the tanker. Many of them were killed in the explosion. Others died in their homes. When I saw gasoline leaking out of the truck, I told residents to evacuate the neighborhood. I warned them of the risk of an explosion. This woman lost her son. This man's six children were also killed. The prime minister has declared three days of national mourning ending on Friday. My thoughts go to the victims' families and those who have been wounded. Haiti has been through years of economic crisis and has suffered devastating earthquakes. One of the problems crippling businesses is the acute shortage of fuel. Prices have soared on the black market.